Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. So I got some questions from you guys from my other video. Um, I think, how long has it been? Been like a week? I don't know. So I made a video on which I created a VI, which is a virtual instrument. If you haven't watched it already, go check it out. I'll put a, a little card right up there that you can click on. I'll put a link in the description. And so some of you commented saying you couldn't find the music program that I used to make my virtual instrument. It's called H-I-S-E. And I forgot to tell you that when you search H-I-S-E in Google, it usually tries to correct it to hose, which isn't what you're searching for. So you have to like capitalize it all, search H-I-S-E virtual instrument. And then it'll come up in the descriptions like something like, the open source framework for creating sample based instruments, something like that. And so let me know if you guys can find it after that, if you want to check it out. And the other thing is some of you have been wondering how my glasses broke. And I am sad to say that my glasses broke in literally the dumbest way possible. Literally all I did was I went to take them off and I pulled just a little too hard this way and it just snapped the arm right off. As you can see, they're the same frames that I had before, they're just a different replacement pair. They don't have the anti-reflection coating, so that's why you can see the lights in my glasses, but yeah. Anyway, so today I wanted to explain what a MIDI controller is, or I guess what just MIDI is in general. So that's another thing from my last video, is I showed you guys, in the VI video, I showed you guys what a MIDI controller is. And I understand that probably some of you don't understand what it is or how it works, so I thought I would explain it. So, MIDI, M-I-D-I, it stands for Musical Interface, right? Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Oh my gosh, that was, that was difficult. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. But notice that I'm, I'm not calling this a keyboard. I'm not calling this an instrument. This is not an instrument in any way, shape, or form. This is a controller. Just like your TV remote tells the TV what to do, this isn't designed to make sound by itself. This is merely a device that tells my musical program what to do. And so you can get these things in many different sizes. This is, I think, I think this is 25 keys, which is two octaves, but you can get these in a whole bunch of sizes. They usually have a certain amount of keys. They usually come with a bunch of pads and knobs and I'll explain what those do as well. So I guess we'll hop right into my music program and let's get started. Okay, so I'm sitting down with my laptop all connected and I have my music program pulled up, which is Ableton Live. I know I keep getting questions from you guys about what program I use. It's called Ableton Live. That's, that's it. And so, yep, I have my MIDI controller all hooked up. Oh, do you guys want to see something really cool? You ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? Boom, it lights up pretty colors, oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess all I have left to do is really to just explain what this is and what it looks like. So on my screen, I have a MIDI track open. And so this is a, it's just a track that's designed for a MIDI channel of information. I don't know how else to say it, um, so I guess I'm trying to figure out how to explain exactly what MIDI is. So imagine you're playing, you hook up your guitar to a track, you put it in an audio track, you play a couple notes. Um, what tells the program, the, what tells the program how you played it is what came through the microphone and that's the only thing it'll play. It plays your guitar, the sound of your guitar, in the very notes you played it, in the way that you played them. What MIDI will do is it'll track the last two things. It'll track the notes that you played and the way you played them, but there's not necessarily any one sound tight to it. Because what it is is it's information that tells the computer program what sound to, or like how to play the sound. But the computer program itself doesn't have the sound. And so that's why, as you can see on my screen, there's this sidebar 
that has a whole bunch of like additional little, they're called plugins. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna pull one of these up because they take up the entire screen and they just get really, actually, you know what? You know what, we're gonna pull it up. So this is a plugin. So you pull up a plugin, which is a separate program. It's not Ableton, it is something aside, but it's it's called a plugin because it plugs into Ableton. It plugs into a music program, which they're called, the technical name for these programs are called DAWs. D-A-W, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. And so, yeah. So a plugin, it goes, it hooks up into your DAW and the DAW will work with it and yeah. So this is, these plugins, this is what produces your sound. This is the program that produces the sound. So what the MIDI controller does is it tells this program to play a sound in the certain notes and the way that you played them. I don't know if that made any sense. I really hope it did. I don't know if you can hear that, but so, so down here on the bottom of my screen, you can see what keys I'm playing. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah. So I think the one thing that'll probably really clear up how this works is for me to just do it. For me to just show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, this track is not just like your normal audio waveform. It's a bunch of dots. It's a bunch of little black squares on a screen. And so this is what MIDI data looks like. This on the side, you call this your piano roll. I guess this whole thing is called your piano roll. And so this shows, this little note is, it lines up with the key on the keyboard and that says, this is what's, oh, I just deleted that. It tells the program to play that note at that time. So all these little, the grid is basically your timing. So for any of you who know music theory, you have whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and that dictates how long a note is held. So this is what that grid is for. So as you can see, this is one, 1.2, 1 1 1.3, 1.4. That is the different counts in your measure. So that's one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And so each one of these, the 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4, each one of these is a quarter note. So since this note is halfway in between one and 1 1.2, it's an eighth note, which means it's half of a quarter note. If you guys want an explanation on like music theory and this kind of stuff that I'm talking about, let me know. I will make a video for music theory too. And so anyway, so this whole thing is essentially what tells the program to make the sounds and the times to make them. I really, really hope this makes sense because I don't know how else to explain it. It's, that's that. It's that, that is, that's MIDI. That's how it works. Yep. And so the beauty of MIDI data, you ready for this? The beauty of MIDI data is like I said, it, it tracks which notes were played how long they were played for and how loudly they were played but there's no sound tied to it and the beauty of this is purely for electronic instruments for synthesized instruments for fake instruments instruments that come from a computer program so the beauty of this is that you can see that i have this one sound selected right here and that's the sound that's the sound that plays However, if I change the sound, what plays on the screen is now a completely different sound. So the beauty of MIDI data is you can record, can you stop? You can record something once. You can record a section of notes once and you can try out all these different sounds to it and you don't have to play it many different times over. You just have to play it the once and then you can find what sound you want and Boom, beautiful. The other beauty of MIDI data is that you don't actually, 
need one of these. You really actually don't need one of these to make your music. This just, this is purely just something to make it streamlined, to make it easier, but this is not at all necessary. Because what you can do is you can open this little tidbit. You know what, I'm just gonna create a new tidbit. I'm gonna delete that track. And so you can just like open a new thing, which I did that by, I did that by double clicking. So I double click there and it opens a new line of stuff. And then you just have this piano roll and what you can do is you can just double click on any space and it'll just chuck a note in there. And then you can move it to however long you want. So I don't know if you've noticed, but the grid is a different size now because I have less selected. It's all relative. So in this program, the amount that you have like selected on screen is like, it'll make the grid relative to that so if you only have like one bar selected then your grid will be like wide i guess like in some grids this if it looked like this that would be a quarter note but on this grid this is a quarter note and this is super long anyway so and then you can just make your own little you can just click it in by hand so if you don't actually have a MIDI controller, but you do have just like a normal piano sitting around in your house, then you can just dink it around on the piano, figure out which keys are which and when they come, and then you can just click it in. It's a lot more work, but it can be done. That's how I did do things before I had this. This thing has been helpful. But like I said in my VI video, music stuff is expensive, and I don't want to like, advocate in any way for buying like I don't want to make it sound like you have to buy all this stuff to make music because you really don't gear music gear is just a bottomless pit because there's always a cooler thing there's always another thing that you can get for your studio it just it just doesn't end it never ends but so yeah so let me know if there's any other musical things about music technology that I can explain for you guys. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, so I guess that's it. So like and subscribe, please. Please. And um, let me know if you have any video ideas that I can do. I'm sorry if this video was... I guess this, this video is more on like the tutorial side, but I do have like actual music stuff coming i will this i'm aiming for friday now that i say that out loud it has to get done right i have a deadline now i've put it out there that i have a deadline so i'm aiming for this friday i'm putting out a video i'm not going to tell you what it is that's a surprise but i'm singing in it so make sure you're looking out for that and I'm gonna try to do a lot more stuff where, I'm just gonna try to do more videos where I'm actually performing music because it seems like a lot of you are asking for that. So yeah, let me know if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye.